Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara, if you are new here. And today's video is going to be all about my 2018 anticipated releases. Now, there is quite a few movies that I'm very, very excited for this year. There's a few books and TV shows, albums, etc. So if you want to find out what those are, then please keep watching. So if you are excited for any of these movies or anything as well, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know which one you're excited for as well. But I have a list of all the movies that are due to be released this year. Um, there may be some I've already seen yet, I don't think so, because sometimes Australia gets movies earlier, sometimes we get them later, but from what I can see there's none I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to talk about them in release date, so I'm going from like January obviously. So the first one I'm excited for is Maze Runner Death Cure. Now, I love the Maze Runner books. I read them all really quickly. The Death Cure was my favourite book out of the series, but I'm not the biggest fan of the movies. Now, I feel like they kind of went a different direction with Scorch Trials. It was like a completely different story. So while I'm excited to see Death Cure because it's my favourite story, I don't think it'll be anything like the book, which is quite disappointing because... The story was really great, but I'm just excited to kind of see where that goes. So the next release is Fifty Shades Free, which comes out in February, and that is the third movie from the Fifty Shades of Grey like series. I've obviously also read the books of these. Um, I really enjoy the Fifty Shades of Grey movies. I don't like go to see it like for the sex and stuff. Like I actually genuinely like genuinely like the story. So I'm really interested to see how closely this ties in with the book because the other two have been really quite close to it so it'd be interesting to see how close this one actually goes. Another one in February is Black Panther. Now when Black Panther was in Civil War I didn't have the biggest kind of interest in him as a character but the trailer for Black Panther looks really interesting and I think it'd be great to see him in his own standalone movie before Infinity War just because you get this kind of backstory on him and who he is and why he became Black Panther and stuff like that I think that'd be really great to see. Next is a movie that comes out in March and I really hope this comes out in Australia but is Love, Simon. This movie is about a boy who predominantly has straight friends and family etc and he is gay and he wants to come out and it's just about his kind of love story and the trailer looks absolutely beautiful. I know this is a book so I may be interested in, actually, in actually reading it but there's a part in the trailer which I love it was like why don't straight people have to come out and it was a bit where a girl comes to her mum, she says mum I'm heterosexual and the mum just cracks it and it looks so funny and good. I have something I need to tell you. I like girls. You trying to kill me? I like men. I'm straight. I'm heterosexual. Oh, God, help me, Jesus. So I'm really excited to see that. Fingers crossed it comes out in Australia. I think it will. I hope it, I hope it does. And next, a movie that's going to come out actually in April for Australians is Infinity War, of course. Now, I, as you know, love my Marvel movies now, and Captain America is my favorite of all time. And this movie, I feel like it's going to rip my heart into shreds, and they're going to kill Cap. I think Cap's going to die. To be honest, um, Alex reads the comics and apparently in the comics Captain America dies and Bucky becomes like Captain America. So I don't know, I'm just, I'm really excited for this because there's so many new characters in the Marvel Universe like so Spider-Man, obviously there's Black Panther, there's Ant-Man, there's Doctor Strange. And it's really, I'm really excited to see oh, Guardians of the Galaxy, to see them all like come together. It's going to be so odd and I definitely think that's going to be the biggest movie of this year, I definitely think it's gonna break all box office like releases. Next that comes out in June is Deadpool 2. Now, obviously, as I said, I like my Marvel movies and I really enjoyed Deadpool. I thought it was really great and creative, but it's weird that it comes out in June. There still hasn't been a trailer yet. So hopefully we get one soon because even though I'm not the biggest fan of like gore and guts and stuff, I really enjoyed Deadpool. I thought it was really creative and funny. There's two movies that come out in or three movies that I want to see that come out in June. The next one is The Incredibles 2. I wasn't the biggest fan of The Incredibles. Like, I liked it. But it would be a movie that I'd sit down and watch just, like, on a day off or whatever. But I'm really excited to see how this is different from the first one, how the story's changed, how the editing's changed, how the animation's changed, and just how the story of, like, The Incredibles will carry on in the, like, 2018 like we haven't had a movie i think it came out in like 2001 so it's been ages and the next movie is jurassic world fallen kingdom i absolutely love the old jurassic park movies they are absolutely phenomenal and jurassic world which came out two years ago 
yeah, two years ago. I really loved that. So I'm really excited to see how Jurassic World goes. Um, it'd be interesting to see how the story goes because I kind of feel like it kind of ended. So yeah, that'll be just interesting so for july there is some more marvel movies and this one is ant-man and the wasp and i loved the ant-man movie i thought it was really creative i love paul rudd and seeing him at, like, as a marvel character was just so great and be cool to see the wasp as well she's like he's kind of like a little sidekick so that'll be really cool to see as well another july movie is mamma mia here we go again i love the mamma mia movies i love abba and i'm actually going to see mamma mia the musical in july as well with my best friend so it'll be great to see the second movie basically a few weeks after I see the musical um but I love love Ella James who was playing a young Meryl Streep in this one she she's from oh she's been in Downton Abbey and like Baby Driver Cinderella the live action and I absolutely love her so I'm really excited to see her in Mamiya because she's got a great voice and I'm just so excited yay so the next one that I'm excited for comes out in November and I feel like it may be one that won't be as good as I think and it is The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Now this is a Disney movie and it's basically the story of the Nutcracker retold and it kind of looks like Alice in Wonderland from the tra Alice and Wonderland from the trailer. So I'm quite intrigued to see if it's anything similar to that. I think the way they edited the trailer made it look a lot like Alice in Wonderland and uh, yeah I really hope it doesn't disappoint because I really like the story of the Nutcracker. And another November release is Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald, which is the second movie of the Fantastic Beasts series. I love Harry Potter and I love the Fantastic Beasts movie. I think it's a really great way to still have that magical like Potter world alive but in a different story and it'll be interesting to see Dumbledore as like a young man instead of just what we know him from the Harry Potter movies but see him as I think it was Jude Law who's playing him I think. That will be obviously very interesting. And the last movie release that will come out in December is Mary Poppins Returns. And I love I love Mary Poppins, and that is such a great movie. And to see it like come back and how they're gonna do it will be really interesting. So they are all the movies I'm excited for this year. So some other things I'm excited for, I there's not many books I'm excited for because I don't read that many series now that are like current last year i was reading the uh lara jean series and the last one of that came out last year but the only book series that i'm reading that has an installment come out this year is red queen and the last book in the red queen series war storm comes out in may i'm so sad that's the last book but really really excited to see where mare and the story ends up and finishes but the other books that i normally read are just kind of a lot of my standalone books so they're not anything to follow up from so that's really the only book, unless I find a series before May that has books coming out this year. We never know. But I'm also really excited for Louis Thomason to bring out his album. He is... I really like how his music has gone like while he's being solo. <laughs> but he's bringing his album out this year and I really like his style of music. I'm not as excited for Liam just because I'm not into that kind of like hip hoppy dance music. But Louis is kind of like chill pop music, which I really love. And his style has just been on point. <laughs> Puncher. I guess another release that I'm really excited for this year will be the next season of Grace and Frankie. It finally comes back. I think it comes back this month sometime. Yeah. I think the end of this month. I love Grace and Frankie and I'm so excited for a new season. Finally. And yeah. So this has basically just been a movie anticipated releases, which I guess is fine because I love the movies. I like movies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you're excited for. Definitely, I think favorite movie I'm excited for is definitely Infinity War. I think it's going to be a lot of people's favorites if you're into Marvel like movies. Otherwise. Who knows? I don't know what your favorite might be. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really, really, really want to make it to 1,000 subscribers this year. It's my ultimate goal. So I guess anticipated release is hitting 1,000, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you all on Thursday for another video. Bye.